set to do battle here in Columbia, South Carolina. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Small is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Caught open field. He's out of bounds at the 28. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 28. Caught enough for the first down. Tackle at the 42. Not a safe pass at all. Really tight coverage and not a lot of room. Credit the receiver with going after that one and hanging on. Throws it, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From their own 42-yard line, Second down. Black five, black five. And he's tackled at the 47. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. Gets out to around the 38. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gains his way to the 23 yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. This is the eighth play of this drive. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. From the 18-yard line, third down. He's got it out to his tight end. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. This is the 10th play of this drive. Him down in the backfield. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. We've got second and goal. Ball on the six. He's tackled at the nine-yard line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Hey, watch the slant. Here we go. Oh. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation.
He makes the PAT. A 12-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the Aggies and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. That makes it second and six. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Swings it out left to the halfback. Knocked out of bounds at the 41 yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. And down he goes at about the 49. That's a game of middle on the back. That'll bring up second and three. Let's go. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of five on the back. First down. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike, number 53. Ready. Ready. He's going to try and scramble. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. He scrambled, and they got him. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll work the right side. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. Throws this one out to the left. And he's got it. Touchdown! Huge play! Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Gets it off as he's hit. Completes. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Takes it right side for a good game. Game of four. Too easy. That'll, That'll bring up third and four. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh. They'll give it off here. 
He's taken down at the 36. Lloyd picks up two yards with a carry. Smith is back deep to return. And he just got drilled. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Brought down at the 33. He tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. From their own 31 yard line. Third down. He's got to throw it in a hurry. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Oh, excellent punt. He's to the 40. What a collision. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. And they push him out at the 47-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 47. Up the middle for a nice game. So the old draw play gets him a good seven yards. He's got the corner. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down around the 28-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 28. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He'll get the call again. They'll knock him down for a loss. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Hey, we got to get the stop here, D. Mike one, Mike one. Run, 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 run. Takes it right and brought down right away. No gain on the play. That, that makes, makes it third and 11. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. They'll spread the field with five wide. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Kicks away, and he missed it to the right. All it takes is a split second of something going wrong. A low snap, a bad hold, a slip, and you've got a miss to the right or the left. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. First down. Throws 
quickly, and it's almost intercepted. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Zips it to the back. Tackle around the 48-yard line. We've played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7-7. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we're dead even. He's at the 40, and he's immediately tackled. Game 13 on the way. First down. Three down, three down. Watch 85, ball going 85. Watch 85. Here we go. Check three, check three, check three. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Loss of two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From the 41 yard line. Second down. And he's tackled right away. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Gets it out quickly. He gets hit out of bounds at the 19. That'll make it second and seven. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. He's into the open field. Gets out to around the six. With the run. Call it a game of 13 yards. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Aggies! Oh, that's a great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight. It's tough to maneuver. And he adds the extra point. Small is lined up to kick this one off. Smith from the three. Brought down at the 30. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. I'll tell you something, I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Lloyd gets seven yards on the play. Gets out to around the 32. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Lloyd picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll bring up second and three. Mike 
And he's tackled at the nine. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. A touchdown away from a tie. South Carolina. What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense. When you have a quarterback who can do things like that, the coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 70-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And he's level at the 36-yard line. That's good for a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, check, 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 Takes it left side, and he's brought down to the backfield. From their own 38-yard line, it's third down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. And that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Number 10 with the tackle at the 46 yard line. That makes it second and six. Play fake. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. That's good for him. Two yards. Third down. Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Quick toss. Almost picked off. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety. So the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. He's out to the 30. That's a great tackle. To the 33-yard line. The 
This one will fall incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 33. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short gain. Nice stop by the junior. tailback but he can't bring it in so that'll make it fourth down the offense really had nowhere to go on that one the play was very well defended and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt smith is back to receive all for the fair catch you always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's to the 40, and down he goes at the 46-yard line. Game 16 on the play. First down. Straight run, nothing going on there. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Outstanding job there by the linebacker to find his way through on the blitz. yards to go now after that setback by the sack. Quick pass going back to his running back. Tackled for a loss. That brings us to 15. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Looking for the corner. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's hit immediately. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Going deep, lays it out there. Finds his receiver who's all alone. He converts the extra point with a three-play, 70-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. South Carolina kicked this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the Aggies have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands, and 
I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. You can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line, and get him one free one from 15 feet. Or... I agree with you 100%. I mean, and this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. He's going to try and scramble. Tries to get around the corner. He's taken down at the 34. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. With the run. Game of four on the play. Right, right. That makes it first and ten. ten. And they make the stop at the 47. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Let's go, let's go. The pass is incomplete. Number two was the intended receiver on the way. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And he has it on the corner. He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 33. Texas a and is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 28-yard line. That brings him second and five. Fires quick, he catches another. Brought down at the 15. First down. Set, 180, 180. Throws it. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 15 yard line. He gets out to about the 12 yard line. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. Number two, the intended receiver on the way. That makes it fourth and eight. He gets it up. And it sails through the uprights. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 28-yard line. I'd say the offensive coordinators definitely showed their wares in that first half. The Gamecocks in front, 21-17. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call.
great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. A tackle made at the 23-yard line. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's immediately tackled. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. Gain of 12 on the play. First down. Decent run here, right side. That's good for gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it first and ten. And we got Mike number 53. Mike 53. He gets rid of this one. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Tackle around the 35-yard line. First down. Six yard line. Second down. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. This is the tenth play of this drive. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's tackled around the 33-yard line. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. The kick is up. Not a very good attempt there by the kicker. So our count is still 21-17, South Carolina. They are ready to begin another drive. South Carolina holds a four-point lead. Makes it out to about the 46. First and 10. Ball on their own 46. Hits him hard at the 45. That's a deal. That'll make it second and inches. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Four down, four down. Check 13. Check 13. Here we go. And two. 
Here's the halfback. Nice run there. Lloyd gets about four yards on the draw play. That'll bring up fourth and one. They don't get it. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin them up and cause the turnover on downs. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Looks for his tight end over the middle. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. Number 10 brings him down at the 42-yard line. First down. drop him for a loss. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 46-yard line. And a quick throw. That brings, that brings up third, third and ten. ten. Caught out in the open. And down he goes at the 29. That's a game of 13 on the way. That makes it first and ten. They'll get him for a loss. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 31. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Texas A&M. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. Small has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Texas A&M's got a little Jekyll and Hyde thing going on here on their defense. Well, they were on their heels the entire first half. You look around now, they're flying around, making a lot of plays, and really giving themselves a chance to maybe win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gets it out quickly. That's a great tackle at the 41. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 41. He fights forward to about the 43. That makes it second and eight. Five wide. Nice play across the middle. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
makes it to the 28-yard line. Gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 12. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That is a loss of four yards. That, that makes, makes it second, second and 14. 14. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Dog oh. four. Oh. 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 The 10. There's a strike complete. He's down. They'll line it up again on third down. Guns it to the left. In and out of his hands. Smith was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. South Carolina is down three and looking to tie it up. It's up and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Wow, close game here. And up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the other's done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Carries the ball. Gain of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. Here we got Mike, number 53. Left check, 49. Play fake, looking to run. Tackle made at about the 35. Call it a gain of 16 yards. First down. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Throws a laser across the middle. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. He fights forward to about the 29. Here's a run up the gun, but nothing going there. 
Well, they try to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and bringing up fourth down. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Texas A&M could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough. No good. He hooked it left. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So at the end of the third quarter, good game, 24-24. Well, we're all tied up now as we head to the all-important fourth quarter. Roger, Roger. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, one to the right. Watch and two. <laughs> and he is drilled at the 35. On the tackle. Gain of two on the play. That'll make it third From their own 35-yard line. Third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Complete. He's got room. He steps out right around the 38-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and one. Smith takes it to 25. He makes it to the 35-yard line. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Brought down right around the 34. You can't teach instinct. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. And he's taken down at the 30. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. their own 46 yard line first down he fights forward to about the 49 empty backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers Makes it to the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. Third down. They're about four yards away here on third down. Tackled for a loss. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That'll bring up fourth and five. Try to change the field position with his kick. <laughs> the
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Steps out of bounds, right around the 24-yard line. That's a gain of four on one ball. That makes it second and six. He fights forward to about the 26. He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Taken down at the 46. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Here's an opening. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Brought down near the goal line. First and goal, fourth quarter, all tied up. What's it going to be? Touchdown, South Carolina! That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he adds the extra point. A short two-play, 54-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. For South Carolina, they're having success rushing the passer tonight. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. And that's always been a very positive thing. It'll keep the defense honest, and they won't be able to just play the pass. The defense wants to dig in here to avoid any letdowns. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled in the open field. That's a game of two. That brings up second and nine. Let's go, let's go. He goes out of bounds at the 31 yard line. Makes the grab past the marker. He's scrambling. He's tackled at about the 39 yard line. That brings us second and nine. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss.
Pretty obvious passing down here as they're faced with third and long. Just under three to go in regulation. He's going left. And this one falls incomplete. This quarterback needs to give his playmakers a chance to make plays. He's got to be sure he gets the ball in their hands. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Got a man, watch out here. Tackle around the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Got an opening. He's at the 30. And he's tackled at the 22. He's had no problem finding running room today. That makes it 100 yards. Brad, I watched this guy play high school football, and I really anticipated he might have a great freshman year, but this is just my box. He has really performed well today, and his offensive coordinator has to be tickled to death. From the 19-yard line, it's second down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way Still to stall out a drive. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. Lloyd gains around two yards there on the misdirection run. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Line it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and he got it. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. White gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Well, now you've got to be thinking end zone on every play. You just don't have the time to do anything else. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Fires quick. Tipped. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Under a minute left in the game. Got it and brought down immediately. A pickup of five. Not a bad play. They gained five yards out of it and they keep moving the defense back. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Just 
got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. Last drive resulted in a field goal, and the offense will come back out looking to do one better. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. So the Aggies, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.